What up, y'all? This is Nipsey Hussle, and I'm Hip Hop Official's Artist of the Week. <music> Status of my project, I got more than enough to go. I'm a perfectionist, and my, my, my team is definitely perfectionist. You know, I feel like when you get the momentum and you're in them zones, you don't stop working. You keep going and see what you can get. I done heard stories how, like, Jay-Z got public service announcement the day before he wrapped his master of mixing it a black album. Me personally, I just believe in just, when you're in a zone creatively, you just work. My album on the way and I ain't worried about the stats, but I can tell you how the streets gonna react. Like, I done went in with everybody playing skills. J.R. Rodham, he actually did one of the singles featuring Sean Kingston. It's a huge record. Scott Storch I went in with. DJ Khalil been sending me records recently. We gonna knock some stuff out ASAP. Then I got other other producers from other regions like Mr. Lee. He from down, down in Houston. He did a gang of the Swisher House, Paul Wall, Bum B, and it sounds fresh from an LA rapper on that on that Houston bounce. So, you know, he gave me one of my favorite records called Blue Laces, QD3, did all of Machiavelli and Tupac, The Runners, DJ Khaled um, production group from Miami. They gave me one of my favorite records called Hustler State of Mind and that's gonna be the last song on the album. And my second album gonna be called Hustler State of Mind. This one called South Central State of Mind, so it kinda like closed the, the project out and, and you know bring it to the next chapter. I believe that every record gotta be a distinct flavor. You're reaching out to, to producers that dictate the sound of their region, you get that, but then it, it still fit on my project as far as you know, a cohesive sound. Part of the game that I feel is the hardest for artists and just a person from the street is that I call it taking two steps back to take ten forward. When you're dealing with a, a maybe versus a definite when it comes to money, I know definitely for sure how I can go get some money today. With hip hop, it's a little bit like, okay, you gotta walk in faith. But that's the hardest part. Like, you, you can't really see where that line is. You just know that, okay, eventually this is supposed to pay off. But as far as what you come from, you know, I can go get some money right now, right here today go get some more money tomorrow, but it's, it's, it's not a career. It's, it's a survival thing. You know, I made that decision consciously that this shit is a dead end road. So for everything positive that come with it, it's always a negative ending. So let me step away from this and go into something that can be a career if you take it serious. You can go on a 10, 15 year run. You can make 100 million in this game. I don't know nobody that made 100 million in the street from our generation. The temptation is always there, but from a, an intelligence point of view, you gotta go with what you know. Whatever you're doing in the streets, you know where it end up. I think that makes the decision a no-brainer. Stick to this right here. And it's like now we closer to where we're going than to where we came from. If I turn around, I got further to go to go back to where I started. Then if I just keep going, I'm right there. You know what I mean?